So here we are in one of my sheds, which this is a bellows, which is upside down. And if we just zoom out and move the camera down, we've actually got that on one of the uh, rather hefty workbenches here. This weighs about 600 weight. And as you can see, more than covers the bench. We have to move some clutter out of here to the left because I'm gonna have to walk all the way around this. So this is a double rise bellows. So remember this is upside down. So that's the top. You've got a floating frame and two bellows sections. The reason it's upside down is because in time gone by, there would have been feeders on the bottom, which would have been operated by a hand handle to, uh, to pump the thing by hand. Now this organ has had three previous installations. The last installation I understand was, 20, was 1914. It's belonged to the same chapel in Louth, but they've had different buildings over the years. So although the organ was built in 1960, I'll get this right. Although the organ was built in 1865 by Forshan Andrews of Hull, um, it has moved. So it's been in that building, we bought it about 2014, I think it was. So it's been in that building 100 years and structural things to the building needed the organ to come out. Now, of course, it should have gone back in, but they went down the avenue of not bothering. So this is what's going in our private chapel here. I particularly wanted this organ in because it's of historical significance. Um, so what we've got to do here is to board over these holes. So if you imagine it's the other way on, you've got I'll just demonstrate it with a piece of hardboard. So imagine you've got another bellows thing which is all leathered, hinged at this end, and by this opening and closing, and correspondingly one on this side, one on the upstroke, one on the downstroke, then what's happening is you're forcing air through these holes. And of course that fills the bellows up. There's some non-return valves which are um, pieces of leather with some straps or some springs. We haven't been inside. In fact, this is a, a, a non-panelled bellows. And for us to do this with two men, we're gonna to have to make this a panelled bellows because we can't have 12 members of staff lifting this around like they might've done in 1865. So we'll have to modify the top. But I had to do that with the conica, so it's not unusual. So we've got two emergency escape valves so if the bellows goes higher than a predetermined level, then a cord inside will cause those to open and dump the air onto the ground, thus stopping it from going too full. So what we need to do, because it's not going ever onto a hand pump, and some of the people out there viewing this might, might think, well, that's a shame that it isn't original, but it's never going to have a hand pump. Now, if you imagine the cost of, of putting feeders on this, um, you know, probably 600 and something pounds worth of leather and all the timber involved as well and all the labour involved. Who's going to pay three and a half thousand quid extra to have a hand pump they're never going to use? This didn't come with a hand pump. It's been removed years ago. So good. It's, it makes the thing lighter. It's, I say it's still 600 weight. So what we're going to do is because these non-return valves inside over a hundred years, they end up, well, I've got some nice dirt there, they end up curling up at the edges and leaking. And you can often see when you put an electric blower on a, an organ, it, which has a hand pump, you see that hand pump handle move. And the only reason it's moving is because there's air going into the feeders through those non-return valves which have failed. So what we're gonna do is to cut some pieces of hardboard and they are going to fit over these various holes. So we've got a number of sheets of hardboard. We will cut those so they all fit. They're going to be glued and panel pinned into position, making sure we don't cover up the non-return valves. We need to get rid of bits of leather. We've got a steam generator to do that, like you would for wallpaper. Uh, we're just going to do that, and with a, a scraper, we're going to get that off. There's the old webbing here, which made the hinge side super tough. So. When this is done, it's going to get painted in blackboard paint in black because that's our company policy. And then we will do, we'll be done and we'll be able to turn the bellows up side down so that it's the proper way up. And we'll strip that leather off and in storage, one of the snags you have is trying to keep mice out. 
and if we just move the camera down there you will see wow. so early next morning the next day we still got the paint drying and we, it's going to need a second coat I know this is going to be underneath I know nobody's going to see it until the organ gets another overhaul in perhaps 75 years but I just like to be spot on with these things so you can see all the holes which um, went through to the feeders the removed feeders are now boarded over with that hardboard didn't get these tacks out we've just made sure they're they're flush so it was sanded over with emery cloth as well to some extent on that edge so remember this is the bottom so in a few days time we'll go over that again with with the black paint turn it over and one of the first things we're going to be doing when it's the other way on is if you look down this side I'd probably be better if I'd moved the camcorder I'll just try and do that you have these metal things which enable the uh, the bellows to inflate evenly as I say you've got two sections and a floating fr frame and so that metal thing is called a pantograph and of course electric trains have pantographs don't they it's exactly the same thing no doubt nicked from church organs a lot of things are nicked from church organs venetian blinds are nicked from church organs uh, the way swell shutters work and i'll say to people well they work like venetian blinds you have a wooden box you've got the shutters on the front they open and close and you can change the volume on the pipes in that box but the Venetians thought it was a good idea and made blinds like an organ. So there's lots of things in organs that, that do get used in other walks of life. So that's where we are with the bellows right now. The reason we've pushed ahead with the bellows, um, if we just, I'll just pause the camera. Well, the first thing which goes in will be the building frame. And we've got some of the parts of the building frame kicking around here. If I just move around in this storage shed, which has, happens to have a bench in, and you will see some of the more hefty pieces of timber which are part of the building frame so that's uh, that what is what goes in 